Happy Thursday, everybody. You may be saying to yourselves, Tim, Jen, where are you guys? We're over at Sapphire Falls and we're gonna check it out today. At least we're gonna try to, we'll see. Look at that storm brewing in the background. Holy macaroni. I wanted to show you guys a quick view of everything that after we parked in the parking garage, which is uh, what they're gonna use for conventions here because Sapphire Falls is a convention hotel. And Sapphire Falls is open today. Today's the very first day that it's open. So grand open, you can book your rooms here now. So check it out here. You can tell that they're still doing some construction on Sapphire Falls. They're not quite done yet. There's still a lot of construction equipment here. <sighs> Bug landed in my ear. Over there is Sapphire Falls. That's where we're headed to. These are Cabana Bay rooms here to the left. And then this is all Cabana Bay, Cabana Bay Towers. And then you can see, look at that, Volcano Bay. Oh my gosh, it is so far along. I cannot wait to go to Volcano Bay. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you, Sapphire Falls, for having a giant lobby button that's bigger than all the rest, so I know where the lobby is. So here's the check-in area where you drive your car up and then you get out and then you come in through the front door here to check in. So let's go see. Well, it looks like there are a ton of people in here. Oh yeah. This line to check in is ridiculous. Holy macaroni. Hey, how's it going? Wow. Ooh, look at the sweet beach ball chandelier. Very cool. This is a very, very large lobby. There's a Universal Studio store inside with exclusive Sapphire Falls merchandise. Like some awesome Sapphire Falls shirts and some Sapphire Falls cups. They're fun. First stop is the New Dutch Trading Company, which is like their coffee shop where you can get pastries or coffees or soups and sandwiches. It's like a, like a Panera. Some delicious looking desserts that you can get here. Cookies and stuff. Ooh, look at this giant brownie. This little coffee shop has its own little coffee mugs that say Sapphire Falls Resort on them. They have their own brand of like spices for Strongwater Tavern, which we're gonna go to next. Caribbean Jerk from, this is the actual restaurant here. And then New Dutch Trading Company Island Teas or like a coffee set. All of the Lowe's hotels here at Universal Property are dog friendly resorts. So you can bring your dog here, just cost a little bit extra. All right, we're gonna head into the Universal Studios store and take a look at some of this Sapphire Falls merchandise, like this bag. I'm all about this hat though. Like I could rock this hat. This is awesome. Oh, like a little waterproof case for your smartphone. Like you put your smartphone in there and then you can lock it up. Pretty neat. Universal Studios golf outfits. And then the rest of it is all just like Universal Studios stuff. Also Kong is now officially open. It opened uh, yesterday. So if you guys are planning a vacation here, you can ride Skull Island Reign of Kong now not in technical rehearsals. And they have a whole section devoted to Harry Potter merchandise. So you don't have to actually go into the park to get your, say, Goblet of Fire. Or, is that the Goblet of Fire? What is that? Or your wand or your robe. There's also a whole section of just bathing suits in case you forget your bathing suit or you want to find a new one. And little cover-ups and little beach hats too. And then they got a whole little section for Secret Life of Pets. And the bunny, I forget what the bunny's name is but he's like super angry. What's his name? Snowball. So as we head out of the Universal Studios store and turn to the right down the hallway, that's where the convention center is. And the convention center is not done yet. So you can see the windows are all frosted over. So here's the line still with people trying to check in. And now we're gonna go down this huge spiral staircase with this giant, holy macaroni. Look at this. This is like the like the sugar silo or something. This has a, a an aesthetic about it that I've seen before. It smells so new down here. Cause it is, this is like based off of a rum distillery. And check it out, here's the game room. Very cool. It's called Calypso Game Zone. And this is Kalina Health and Fitness, which I guess they said is not quite open yet. And now we're heading out to the pool. Oh, there's a pool table out there. But unfortunately, the pool is closed right now because of lightning. Oh no, they're putting away the cornhole. Oh no, putting away the cornhole and putting away the ping pong. So because the pool was closed, they wouldn't let us out. But we came back down this room, down at the bottom of the stairs, and we turned around, and now we are close to the Amista Cookhouse. And so this is their high-end restaurant with an open kitchen, a very open kitchen. Wow. 
And they are. It looks pretty all right. Here's a look at the menu for this restaurant. It reminds me of Key West a little bit, like what we were eating at Key West. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here's the full dinner menu. Which one did you want, Jen? The churrasco steak. Oh, yeah. It looks really good. Oh, it's so nice in there. And then just to the right is where you would go to take the water taxi and resort shuttle over to Universal or Islands of Adventure. Look at how beautiful this is out here. So there's the door that we just came out of. And now, here is the view of the waterfall. Holy macaroni, that is beautiful. And this right here is where the water taxi picks up. Like they said, we are not able to take the water taxi right now because of lightning in the area. And I want to know what that is right there. I want to stay in that room. It looks awesome. Oh, and there's like a little mill right there. So cool. And that's the restaurant right there. So you could have a view out of the restaurant looking at this waterway. So what do you think? Should, I'm like, I'm, we, we have a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's really pretty. Everything is like really beautiful actually. The view is amazing. I don't know what you would call the style of this hotel, but it's- I would call this Caribbean. But like modern. Modern Caribbean. Yeah, like yeah. look at this. It's like what they did was they found a Caribbean town as I gesture with my sandwich. They found a Caribbean town and they built a new hotel on it. So you can see like the old mill and the waterfall and there's this new hotel over top of it. So I think we're gonna be staying here very soon. Maybe not tonight, but I mean like soon-ish. So we found our way into the actual hotel hotel. I love how the lights are like reflecting up and it makes the ceiling look 3D. And if you guys look, it's like they use magic bands, but they don't. It's just like your key card is, is touch, RFID. Ooh, what's this over here? There's like a light area. Let's see. Ooh, we can see the convention center over here that is not yet open yet. That looks crazy. Holy macaroni. Jen says she wants this giant pink couch. This is awesome because it just reminds me of the keys. Oh, it's salmon colored, sorry. Coral, back up in the lobby. This is the big stairwell that we went in. And then over here is Strongwater Tavern. It is a rum bar. They have like atmosphere over here to help entertain the kids while you're waiting in line to check in. And a nice little seating area. And then they have live entertainment. So there's a guy that plays his steel drum right here. There's a beautiful view out into the pool deck from the lobby. Ooh, there's Jurassic Park right there. That's fun. There's a touch screen here that kind of gives you some information. Oh, uh, ooh, the Barbados boardroom. Let's map it to the Barbados boardroom. Oh, look. This is actually really smart. It is. Look at this view over the pool with the sunset and everything. There's the slide over there too. Man, I can't wait to go into this pool and go swimming. It looks amazing. This over here is uh, Cabana Bay, but this is Sapphire Falls, and then that is Royal Pacific. Ooh, look at that rain right there. How cool is that? Oh, and this is the waterfall that we're over top of. See another dog. They brought their dog to the resort because you can bring your dogs here. When we looked into it, it was $50 per dog per day for Hard Rock. And here's the boat dock again, and now we're heading up the waterfall to have a look over top of it. Oh my goodness, here's the waterfall, like right here. Here it is, we found the waterfall. Okay, we need to find out what that is and go up there. Strong water tavern. Yeah, let's do that. I do have to mention there are a few things that are not done yet. Like take for instance here, right here. This is not done yet, but it's not affecting the rooms or anything like that, but you might see something like this occasionally. So I'm gonna keep using the boat as my like point of reference. So I'm looking at the boat, here's the waterfall right here. And then we turn. And this is the waterway that takes you over to Royal Pacific and then onto the parks. And this walkway right here connects to Cabana Bay's walkway. And then you can walk that over and you can see right there, the lighthouse for Islands of Adventure. It's not too far off. The line has really subsided. They're working their way through all of the people trying to get them checked in. When we first walked in, the line was all the way back there, and now it's just right to here. So we stopped off at Strongwater Tavern, and it's basically a rum bar, and this is the story of it. Oh, this is cool. 
here's some of the food. You can get some curry goat if you want. Oh, sliders. All right, that sounds pretty all right. Buttermilk chicken tenders. Here's all of the rums, and these are the wines. And here are the beers and the different restaurants that are around here. And then here, in this leather-bound book here, this is the story of the strong water. So we can learn all about rum and how to enjoy rum. And then here are all the different rums that are available here. Wow, and there's the sugar cane. I got the beef sliders, which look pretty good. And Jen got the pork arepas. I don't think it was only gonna be one. How much was this? Nine dollars. Nine dollars, and I think mine was ten. So Jen was just noticing that this cup is the bottom of a wine bottle, or the bottom of a beer bottle, maybe. That's cool, I like that. So we just finished at Strongwater Tavern, and what did you think? I really liked it. I didn't have any drinks, I just had um, a Pellegrino but uh, the food was so good. Yeah, so I, you had what? I had the pork arepa, and it was um, really delicious. You only get one, but to be honest with you, when it came, I thought this isn't really a lot of food for the price because it was $9, but it actually filled me up. So it was very deceiving, and, and it, was, I, it was really good. And I had the sliders, and I only got two of them, and they were, I think, $10. Yeah. But they were delicious. We did have one complaint, but it was a complaint that I can't really count as a complaint. Right. Because it's opening day. Today is their very first day open to the public. It did take a little bit longer than normal. But I would say, keep that in mind if you're coming here within the next couple of days or even the next couple of weeks. Things might be just a little bit slower to start. But I think that that's all going to change once they like get into their groove and everything is you know, closer to completion. Yeah, and so we talked to the manager and he said our goal is max 15 minutes. Which is pretty standard. And ours yeah. was about 30 minutes. When you come to the parks as much as us, you know that there are certain times of year and certain days that are just gonna take a little bit longer. Right, so we were we were definitely pretty understanding. There were other people that were not as understanding, <laughs> but hopefully their food was just as good as our food was. <laughs> Look at the chandelier in the lobby all lit up. In case you guys were wondering, you can get Papa John's delivered to Sapphire Falls. That'll do it for us at Sapphire Falls, the first day of Sapphire Falls being open. I really like this hotel. Yeah, I do too. I think it's for a moderate hotel. I think the style is really beautiful. I liked all of the rock work. I liked the waterfall. We didn't get to check out the pool very like closely because of the storm that was rolling in, but I'm excited to see the pool in the future. And uh, I just, I really like the color scheme. It was just, I, it's a pretty hotel. I like the aesthetic of this hotel. And the guy playing the steel drums, like in the, um, in the lobby, I just, We'll call I like, that the atrium. Is that the atrium? I like that word better <laughs> than the lobby. I think it's just, the atmosphere in the hotel is what I like. Like we came from the Keys and this reminded me very much of our Keys trip. And it, it put me back in that like relaxed, kind of like islandy, kind of mindset and I like that. But with all that being said, I really like Sapphire Falls. I want to stay here so bad. I think we might stay here for Halloween Horror Nights. I think so. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to get to stay in my room that I always say I want to stay in because I, I think that it, that might be like a special fancy room that we probably can't really afford. Right. <laughs> but a girl can dream. <laughs> so with that being said, we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>